Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm going to be working with the slider framelits again and the Shooting Star stamp set. In a previous video, I made this little Shooting Star card. It's so fun to make. But today, I wanted to show you how to use um, the circle slider and how I put it together. Um, I just had to uh, I had never done one before so I just played with it until I got it to work for me so I have a delightful Dijon base cut at four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it at five and a half and folded it in half then I have another piece of delightful Dijon and I cut that at four by five and a quarter and I needed a pretty background for uh, to frame out my slider. I'm using the little honeycomb and the honeybee. So I opened up my new pack of Scene Scenery Designer paper and it has some beautiful photograph prints in here and just flipped through and found what I thought would be perfect, this little field of dandelions. So I cut that piece to four by five and a quarter as well and mounted it on top of that delightful Dijon piece. So I'm going to get the big shot and um, I'm going to try to make this a little bit uh, shorter than I did yesterday's video because I've done most of my stamping. But I want to show you here where I'm placing this. I had the best result for this size card moving this circle close to the top but not all the way to the top, okay? And really, it's trial and error. It was with me, and so we're gonna go with it. And this is the first one I've done with the honeycomb and the bee, so we're gonna see how this works. And I try to center it, and then we're gonna just run it through and cut it out. So it's cutting through both of those layers, the designer paper and the delightful Dijon. Okay, move that out of the way, and I'll show you what we have here. And it's cut through those layers. You don't need this piece, we'll put that aside. And then you have this left, so you have this circle center, okay? And this is our card base, so that's going to mount here. But we can't just glue it down, we have to use our little, um, foam strip adhesive. So I thought I had prepped some here already, and I did. You can cut it to the size that you need, and I found with this particular design that um, I cut it in thirds, and just, I put one along the bottom, and then another piece, not too close to the circle, because you need room for that little bee to spin around. So I'm just gonna try that. And then, I don't have a lot of room at the top here, so what I decided to try was to take some shorter pieces here and do this. Okay. And that worked on my other card, which I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so now let's take those papers off and we're going to center that on the front of the card. And I also found that I liked for the card base to complement either the card stock that you've cut for your slider or uh, to complement the designer paper, okay? So I wanna make sure I have that open at the bottom like it's supposed to be. And then I'm just going to adhere that where there's that border around the edge. Okay, so there's not a piece there, but I found that this held it pretty well, okay? If you need, you might put another tiny piece here, but let's try this and see. So now you have your center circle piece, and you want to leave an even space around the edge there, and yet not get too close to the edges, so we're going to use some pieces again here in the center. And let's see if I can find my scissors. I'm gonna cut another little piece here. 
I'm having so much fun playing with this bundle. If you buy the Shooting Star stamp set and the Sliding Star framelits together, you get a 10% discount. So head on over to my blog and you should be able to find the link to the online store. I do have links in the video description as well. Okay, so now I have that and I'm going to take the little uh, honey, the beehive, and I'm going to not put any dimensionals on it because I'm hoping it doesn't get in the way of my little bee. So I'm gonna do that. And now we have to make our little piece that's gonna slide around. I'm using coins, pennies, because I don't have any, um, what do you call them, washers. And so I just put a dimensional there and I trimmed the dimensional so it doesn't have any of those pointed hexagon edges. And I'm gonna layer the other penny on top. And then I have the, uh, the B that's in that set and I colored it with um, the Wink of Stella Gold and the clear and then a little bit of basic gray there on the stripe. And I've got one Stampin' Dimensional there and I'm going to center that. And you try to keep my, my pennies probably are a little big for this particular image, so that's where the different size washers will come in handy, but I have found it works okay. I wasn't going to let that stop me from playing with this set and this die. So next, I'm gonna take the little space there and wedge it in between and just pop it pop it in there and now let's see how we do yeah oh that is so fun I love it okay it worked yay okay so now I have just a simple sentiment here and I used the this is the thoughtful banners stamp set and the coordinating punch that's really awesome too. You can also buy that as a bundle at 10% off. And I used uh, some of the coordinating colors. Old Olive is in this set, so I thought that would look good with my Dijon. And then I have the little um, Honey Bee. There's a smaller one and the die, a die to cut it out. So let me take that and I'm going to be sure to put it toward the bottom here so that the bee doesn't run into it and it get in its way. Yay. Okay, so now I have one more little honey bee cut out and I've got a little glue dot behind it and I think I'm going to put it right here. And there we go. I it could I probably could do another one and maybe put it like several flying around. You just don't want the little, uh, the image edges to run into it, okay? So I'm really happy with how that turned out, it's so cute. Okay, here's the one I did first, and it, this is another beautiful print from that uh, Serene Scenery stack, and I did it the same way, and then I did the, the world, and oh, that is so fun. And this sentiment says you're out of this world. Now the sentiments are from that sliding star set. It goes with those images perfect. Okay, I really hope you will try that. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And I know that whoever would receive these cards would really love it. So if you need any help with anything, let me know. This is Lisa Brown, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator with InkandInspirations.com. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.